As musicians, we are constantly bombarded by people selling us the dream. Whether it being a family member at a gig saying, man, you sound incredible, you should sign up for you all thought it. American Idol or any of those shows, whether it being music marketers, you can't open social media these days without hearing somebody tell you that you need to be doing this to get more likes, this more followers, you need to be paying money for marketing. Maybe it's some of these instrument companies that are always telling you what you have is not enough. You need to upgrade your guitar. You need to upgrade your gear. We're gonna talk about gear in a second. You need to get better and sound better because musicians aren't happy. So many musicians that I know, mainly including myself, cannot make music and just have fun. I don't know how we lost our way, but we went from making music with our friends in garages to making music now to where the only thing people care about are how many streams you have on Spotify, how many followers you have on that social media platform, or how many results that are completely out of our control. Recently, I started this YouTube channel and I was so blessed to have people support what I was doing, people donated money for me to get better gear, and I'm so thankful that I was in a place and able to get nicer gear. But I realized that stuff does not make me happy. I would argue it doesn't make me a better musician. It doesn't make me better in any way. I'm a guy that loves affordable but good things. I drive a 2001 Chevy Venture minivan. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I order a cheeseburger most of the time. Anytime I buy anything, I'm normally trying to find the best bang for my buck. But I got swallowed into this thinking of, well, now you're a YouTuber. Now you have subscribers. Now you have this. You have to have nicer things. I don't like nice things. I don't want it. So I am going to take all of my nice gear that I have bought thanks to people supporting the channel, and I'm going to get the budget-friendly versions of those pieces of gear. And let me tell you why. I hear so many people on the internet, especially YouTubers, especially influencers saying, you don't need to get nice gear. Blah, 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 recorded their album in their bedroom with a Focusrite Scarlet, a 57, and a cup of cold daddies. And then you look at the gear that they're using and it's all incredible gear. And I realized I was being a hypocrite. I was encouraging my friends just to go make music with what you got. Don't worry about buying a bunch of crap. Just do it. You'll enjoy it. Have fun. So I'm editing the video and I totally forgot to mention that one of the most important questions that you need to ask when it comes to gear is what are you going to use it for? Not what your studio engineer friend needs, not what some stupid YouTuber says. What do you actually need and where is it used? For me, I make most of my videos and my music for YouTube. So this whole thesis is based on that idea. So. I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm selling, and I would love to get y'all's opinion on what you think I should buy. Remember, it's got to be budget. Doesn't mean it has to be crappy. It's got to be good, but it's got to be the budget version. So, of course, YouTuber, I got the Shure SM7B because everybody has one. I actually had two of them, and it sounds good. Can I tell a big difference between that and this Rode pod mic, not much, not much at all, but there's like a $300 difference. Plus the bad thing about these stupid things is you have to buy a cloud lifter. So what, these things are like $400, $500, I don't even know. This is like $150. So we're talking a $550 microphone setup. It's just a lot of money. So I'm selling this and I need something to replace it with. Let me know in the comments what you think that I should get. I'd love to hear about it. The next thing I have is a condenser mic. This is an AKG C214. Cost $465 by itself. Sounds great on my acoustic. 
Does it sound that much better than putting an SM57 on it? I can't hear a huge difference. Maybe it's just me and my ears suck, but I really cannot hear a huge difference. I'm thinking about getting uh, like a large diaphragm mic mainly for vocals. So if anybody has any ideas, let me know in the comments. I've got a lot of ideas myself, but I'd love to hear from y'all. The next thing, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, it's my audio interface. It's an Audient ID44. It costs like what? $700. Willie can't even handle how expensive it is. It is way too much for what I need. Also, I've had a lot of problems with this interface. The channels just haven't worked really well. I might make a video on why I hate that thing. The next thing that I'm gonna sell is my speaker. I have a JBL Eon 710, which is like a five or $600 speaker. I'm gonna get something cheap. Let me know what I should replace the interface and the speaker with. Now, I'm not here trying to tell you that this is what you should do with your life but the channel that I'm trying to build is trying to encourage and inspire more people, especially beginners, to get out there and to make some more music. So I'm gonna be recording some how-tos on how to make music on a budget, maybe what gear you should buy, but it's so much easier and so much cheaper to get started than most people think. By the way, you might be surprised to know I recorded this entire video on an SM57. <laughs> and I just wanna push people to go make more music because it makes us happy. Whenever we make music for the right reasons and not for fame and not for money and not for all of these things, it is such a healthy thing for our lives, and I'm gonna be making a lot more videos about that. Do you have anything that you would like to learn about, anything that I've done or maybe know how to do? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you somewhere down the road.